But welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room, where I've got a couple of days off work this week, and I've got a load of grow-outs that Wharf Aquatics had agreed to take off me. So me and Steph decided to go on a road trip to Wharf Aquatics. So while I was there, I got some footage of some of the cichlids, so I thought, why not do a quick shop tour? Well, if anyone's ever been to Wharf Aquatics, there's about 300 tanks, so trying to do a shop tour is quite difficult because obviously you've got people there as well. So what I've done is I've just chosen some of the cichlids. So these ones are the Polonite Madagascan cichlids, so quite a good price. Uh, yeah, so quite a few of those in there. Right, with these ones, so these are the uh, the Hon Jordan Red Points and some of the the Multifaciatus, the Freddies. So again, good prices on these, a fair few in stock. So these are obviously Central American. Right, the Black Nasty, the Hacientiensis. Uh, so yeah, they only had one of these in. Yeah, they, they, it says on the label for the pair, but there was only one of them there. Um, right, with these ones, the Sajaka, the T-Bar Cichlid. Again, a good price on those. Um, yeah, lots of males and females, so it would have been quite easy to pick out a pair. Right, Vieja Heart Wedgie, uh, so quite a few of those. Uh, it said Ferictes Passionis, so I got all excited, but unfortunately they'd sold them all the day before. So <laughs> I almost got another group of those. Yeah, so Flower Horns, not really my thing, but I know if some of the people watching there do like the Flower Horns. Yeah, Neotropolis, Neotropolis, so I think these are the ones that I took into them last year. Yeah, so again, good price on those. And looks like one of them's uh, gone into breeding colours there. Yeah, the Nicaragua Gwents, uh, these might be some of the ones I took in there last year as well. Uh, the, although the ones I took in last year would probably be a bit bigger than this now. Uh, part of uh, the Melon Rambo, um, so yeah, as you know, I've got uh, two of those already. And uh, yeah, some of the Ferictes Machipinis. Uh, these all looked healthy. Uh, Cutteri, um, and the, the the variants of the uh, the Carpintas. So I was I was tempted to get some of these, but. I've only just got rid of the uh, the, the car pincers, so I thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. Uh, some rainbow cichlids. So what I actually took in there, it was uh, the the fenestratus, some chocolate cichlids, uh, some rainbow cichlids, and some of the minor eye. So this is the the real heros, uh, the Caruleus. So yeah, they had eight of those left in the tank. So yeah, the, all the tanks all look really healthy. Um, I was really tempted with these, the Bean Eye. Anyone uh, who's watched like my other videos will know it is one of my favourite fish, the Bean Eye. Um, so they, they, they had a group of them. Uh, this was, it looked like the don, dominant one. Uh, and all the rest of them were hiding in the, in the, the plant cover that they put in the tank. So yeah, I almost got these, but uh, <laughs> I had to change my mind last minute. Yeah, the Severums, uh, the mouth brooding Severums. So they, they had a couple of tanks of these, uh, the wild caught ones. Uh, so yeah, I was looking at these as well. I uh, was quite tempted with these. Yeah, it was quite easy to pick out the males and the females, so yeah, it, it would have been quite a good group of those. Yeah, so all the tanks all look spot on, all the fish all looked healthy. So these ones, these are the Geophagus Brasiliensis. So I used to have these many years ago, I used to breed these uh, for fun. <laughs> I probably flooded the market with them. But yeah, the nice little uh, grow out. So yeah, these get to about 10 or 12 inches. So yeah, they, they are a nice cichlid, uh, sometimes called the pale cichlid. 
so as i say there's so many tanks and wharf to go through it, it's quite difficult so that was just a selection so anyway on to what i brought back with me so i got four of the melon rambo the madagascan cichlid so the idea is to introduce these to the, the two that i've already got so i'll have a group of six and i got a group of eight of the rio heros uh, Carulius. so i'll keep these separate this time and hopefully have more joy that last time i got them uh, they just disappeared in one of the tanks so here they are, the two species in quarantine. If you've seen my last video, always quarantine new fish. So these will be staying in this tank for, what, three or four weeks. So what I'll do is I'll treat the Melon Rambo uh, with the wormer, deworm them again, because that worked really, really well last time. Um, and obviously feed them up and try and get them to a decent size. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, after about a month, uh, I'll, I'll introduce them to the other two and yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll get on fine. So just in closing, thanks for watching. If you get a chance, uh, Wharf Aquatics is well worth going to. They always have a good selection of fish, uh, Central American, Tanganyikan, Malawi, as well as all the community fish. But yeah, I thought we'd just close, um, have a look at the the two Melon Rambo that I've had for a couple of months now. i uh, see how well they're doing. So, I'll close it here. So, I'll see you all on the next video.